Hello everyone, my name is Ryan from R Brandon. I'm the graphic designer and co-founder, but today we bring our first ever tutorial. Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create some abstract art that would fit great on an album cover or maybe contribute towards a graphic device for a brand identity. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find a really nice high contrast image and then bring it into Photoshop. Using the liquify tool, it uses a lot of CPU. So the first thing we're going to do is go to image and image size to make the image smaller so it's easier to work with. Now that our image is a lot easier to work with, we're going to go into filter and then liquify. This is going to bring up a new window where you can use the tools on the left hand side to really distort your image. So, now you're happy with your image, we need to get it back to its original size. So to do this, press OK to exit the liquify box if you already haven't, and then go to edit and step back, and go to filter liquify to apply the effect. So as you can see, it's starting to look really cool and abstract. What we're going to do now is play with the adjustment tools and change the colours. Now the first thing I do is add a black or white layer adjustment and change the opacity to 80% so some of the colour beneath it bleeds up through. The next thing I do is add a levels adjustment layer, tweaking the sliders relative to the histogram. I also change the output level slider to give her that washed out feel and changing the blacks into dark greys. Next, to give it that vintage and retro feel, we're going to add some noise. So the first thing we do is create a new layer, fill it with black and change the blending mode to screen. Next you want to go to filter, noise and add noise. Relative to this image I use 10% of noise. Under distribution you want to make sure that Gaussian is checked as well as monochromatic. Next, add a curves adjustment layer to change the colours of the image on the RGB spectrum. If you're using a different image to me, please play around for these settings and see what looks nice with your image. Now, when we get to the stage where you're happy with your image and it looks nice, we can start to introduce some text. So, press the text box and start typing away. In this case, I'm going to use r.branding, which is my company name. And finally, the last thing I add is a square border around the text to neatly tie it together. Thank you so much for watching guys, we really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we hope you made something awesome. If you did, give us a thumbs up and check us out on social media, our links will be in the description. If you want to request a tutorial for the future, please just leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you. 
My name's Ryan from Ardot Brandon. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you soon.